back to press X for chromosomes. Well, I finally got to this part I, after failing last time. Horribly. Yeah, I spent a week not playing it. <laughs> and then I played it because, to be fair, that was like, it was like five almost. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it was, was pushing really, six by the time I got home. Yeah, it was really early because yeah. we just needed to record. And uh, thanks to a schedule change with our work. However, uh, now we're recording everything on one day now because we have an extra day off. And, uh, yeah, I think I just rage kind of slightly, like, mentally. Like, not actually rage quit, but I kind of rage quit. Because Ooh, I was like... Oh, you kind of rage quit. Well, it wasn't... <laughs> I was just like, fuck it, whatever. Because I was like, I... We had enough. And I was like, I could just play this later. And there's, like, a certain point I hit where I'm like, how do... Do I tactish? Uh, uh, <laughs> how do words? So, yeah. How so do things? So, basically, we did everything. Everybody's different. I like how he turns. I've never noticed that. Oh, hey. Make a dance. <laughs> <laughs> the the bosses are sitting there like, what the fuck is this kid? Yeah, what's going on? So we talked to Nasala, and Nasala doesn't give a shit. Yeah, he's just he's like, I, I guess I'm now. just gonna be here. He's like, <laughs> he's just staring at Mordecai's butt, going, "Wow, that was one fuzzy butt, <laughs> mm, baby." <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna kill this guy hopefully, and well, he's probably gonna be talking. One hundred percent hit. Oh, was it? Yeah. I didn't even pay attention. Yeah. I don't pay attention to, like, the hit rates or whatever. Oh, I, I just do. pay attention to the uh, how much they hit for. If it's over 70, then I go, okay, I'm, I'll do it. If it's <laughs> under 70, nope, not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it regardless. Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> yeah, your face is unique. It's rough and awkward. Get terribly strong. Who is your teacher? Me! <laughs> <laughs> My father! Oh. <laughs> they were the same. My father taught me to wield a sword as well. Neither of us can afford to lose. Well, apparently your father Fine. didn't teach you how to cut your hair. <laughs> no, he taught him how to cut the front. <laughs> he could never reach the back. <laughs> the shame. My honor. <laughs> he got his sword. Honor. Loot his body. <laughs> While, like, up. the two, like, horse people are watching, just stare him dead in the eyes as you're fucking pulling shit off his corpse. <laughs> Keenness. We also had to do this a little bit of bullshit of like Nassau like untransformed because it's taken a long time. <laughs> and so I had to like, I went through a bunch of different, like I just like, because no one else was attacking us. So I just set people up and then just sat there for like And just turns. like ended the turn, ended the turn, <laughs> ended the turn. So nobody, and it went super fast because no one was attacking us. And then Nassau was like, okay, transform again. And he came after the person and then we talked and then he was like, fuck it. All right. It's still got Birdie Boner for Leanne. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Leanne. Ugh, fucking okay voices. <laughs> How nice. What a lot of braggarts. braggarts they turned out to be. Very well. Let us withdraw. Well, let us withdraw as well. <laughs> I can play game, but I cannot word. <laughs> Make sure if you're treating out a general patrons there. Eh, fucker. Promises made to humans are worth less than a dead snake. Forget about her. Losing the remainder of our payment stings, but still. You can't buy your life back, can you? Well, uh, actually, yeah. According to Supernatural. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if there's anything super, like, all these, like, shows teaching, like, different messages, if there's anything Supernatural has taught me, your consequences don't matter. Yeah, no, they yeah. really don't. Fuck it, you'll just come back. And uh, on, like, a quick side note, the Darkwings, I, like, barely glanced at it, and I thought it said Ducklings. Ducklings. He's gonna <laughs> lead them across, like, fucking traffic with all these, like, little chicks we behind them. We saw that the other day. We saw a bunch of a uh, mother duck and her ducklings walking across a highway. It was great. There or were whatever. people swerving because the people up front were stopping, so the people behind them had, like, s to swerve. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, but everyone was, like, waiting for them to cross the road because they're not assholes. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's all that they were crossing. But fly, my ducklings. <laughs> we return to kill us. <laughs> Danger Duckling. We won! Somehow, I don't even fucking know. <laughs> I, I oh died. god, you're still here. Yeah, yeah she's everywhere. Oh. Well, now she's. I think she's gonna show up a little bit more now that we're out of Benyon. Great. Yeah. My Lord Ike, I'm so pleased to see you well. You haven't been injured, have you? However, you. I don't think we'll see Sanaki as much, so you traded. Nah. You're like replaced. Princess Lancia, I'm fine. I'm unharmed. Oh, that's good. Sanaki at least had snark on her side. Yeah, he's like, you fucker. <laughs> oh, you're not hurt? You pr are trying hard enough? He's like, oh. <laughs> Ike, may I have a word? 
And if you don't mind, Princess Alencia, would you join us as well? Please join me in that building right there. Which, what building? <laughs> what could it be? What <laughs> building could it be? <laughs> what could it be? The fucking eagle over there. Uh, Miss Belton. Let's go and see. Yeah. <laughs> This is... Holy! Incredible, no? It's gold. All of it. Uh, where oh, where is what's-his-face? Yeah, Volk's actually gonna show up in the next thing. Because this is like, just because you spent all your fucking money because you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> this is where you get all of it so you can... Because it's pay a him. plot point. Yeah, because you can't actually pay him anywhere. Okay. So this is literally what it is. So if you couldn't... If you didn't recruit him before, would this... Would he show up here? I think so. Okay. Or he might show up in a bar or somewhere i don't fucking know <laughs> like uh, like or like you know like a house he just or conveniently like, shows up at a bar and dan i think this is where he does show up though. Oh, okay like regardless dan must be filthy rich there's so much it doesn't even seem real what do we do with it <laughs> it's the spoils of war so naturally it's ours Thank you, i wasn't invited but i came <laughs> <laughs> in that case i'd like to borrow fifty thousand. would that be all right as long as you pay it back that's a lot of money <laughs> What are you planning on doing? Make it it's, rain. Yeah, I gotta fucking shovel it out of my hands. <laughs> it's gold, though. So it's pink, 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 everyone. <laughs> the strippers are like, ow. <laughs> <laughs> That's a private matter. I like how, like, Soren wasn't invited, but he, like, he's smelled still there. gold. <laughs> or whatever, and he's like, shit, we're getting paid. He's fucking like, uh, Woo! He's like one hand for gold. He, ac- yeah, no, he actually found it. <laughs> or whatever, Titania's like, he's like rolling in it. She's like, that's All right, I'm going to go, go get Ike. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, Commander. You're not a child. There's no reason for me to pry. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> My Lord Ike, please use this gold for the mercenary company. Until now, I haven't had the resources to adequately pay them, so please. I, uh, was going to take them anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Now, if I may borrow the 50000 that will be more than... You won't borrow it. You'll accept it, and in good faith. The remainder we'll give to (laughs) Sora for company maintenance. Would that be all right, Princess Alencia? Yes, of course. Sweet. (laughs) He just walks out. Yeah, Sora just flops back on the pile of money. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Uh, And they're like, what a fucking weird kid. (laughs) General Petri! P- p- please, General. I'm just a m- m- messenger. How- however, I have to tell you. I already heard you, Dunderhead. I hated those filthy crows right from the start. Even so, to be betrayed in such a fashion. Ugh, someone will pay for this. Oh, you certainly had your way with us, didn't you, King Kilvoss? Oh, what a fucker. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, and, uh, With like, that wow. slimy hair. Super surprised. <laughs> but if you want to make an enemy of Dan... Then so be it. Once Gallia has fallen, we'll turn our attention to your puny nation and wipe it off the face of the world. Um. <laughs> Why are you still here? Do you find me amusing? Yes. Shall I make my lance dance for you? I thought it said laugh dance for you. I, I heard, like... I, I read fans and I was very confused. Fans dance, <laughs> laugh dance? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. No, never. Not at all. I beg your pardon. So sorry. I'll be going. No. <laughs> dog's breath. I need something. A brilliant plan. If this continues much longer, the king will have my head. Oh, sorry. I was hiccuping, so I forgot where we were. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. I, like, lost my track. Once again, over here, and you're ignoring me. You want to see me? (laughs) I was like, middle gear in my head. (laughs) You went in the wrong time. Take this fucking towel me. It's the gold you were promised. Finally scraped it together, eh. I'll gladly accept it. Now my intelligence is, you know, useless. Yeah. Also, I got my mask off, and now I'm just finger on thumb. <laughs> are you gonna, are, are you gonna count it? There's no need. I'll trust you. Sword right. filled it with rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Sword's like, remember to swing it at his head <laughs> at the opportune time. <laughs> Jesus. Then I'll take what was promised. The report you wrote for my father. I'll have Sword help me read it. There isn't one. What? There's no report. Never was. You lied to me? You explained my need to know more about my father? There's something I must tell you. However, it cannot be written down. It's too great of a secret for that. It's Metal Gear. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm a clone. <laughs> Your father told me to wait until I thought you were mature enough to hear it, and then to tell you myself. Mature? Then what was the 50,000 gold for? Ah, the gold. That was my idea. I thought it would be a good way to test how resourceful and responsible you were. Get started! Does this, it, mean, does this mean we get the 50,000 back? No. God damn it. Or, well... Actually, maybe. I fucking don't remember. <laughs> you already have plenty of money that I'm not everybody. using. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, think, you, know, you can tell when there's not a big battle because I don't outfit anybody. <laughs> Except for what I use. I spent a long time as Grail's hired shadow. A long time. I remained hidden from sight in case the day ever arrived that I needed to fulfill my contract. All that time for one job. If you were hiding in the shadows for so long, why didn't you kill the Black Knight? Yeah, jerk what? Well, he was just hired to fucking... <laughs> He was like, fuck that. Like, he saw him. He was like, liquid. <laughs> Not dealing with that. What was it? If Grail were ever to go berserk, I was to stop him. I was to take his life. What? Actually, there was one other thing. If Grail ever were slain by his pursuers, I was to watch over his son and tell him Grail's secret at the appropriate time. That was my job. Berserk, what are you talking about? Why would you have to kill my father? Because of Lee Hans, or Lee Rod's medallion. <laughs> what medallion? What are you talking about? You know the thing Mist plays with all the time? Yeah, the medallion your sister carries, fuckwad. <laughs> Don't you ever pay attention. Huh? The little bronze thing? It's not even bronze. <laughs> it's like st stone looking. I think bronze actually does look like that if it like rusts oh, long I, enough. I fucking don't know. I don't pay attention to bronze. Fuck bronze. Yeah. Stainless steel forever. <laughs> I thought I was just a keepsake of my mother's. Are you telling me that it's something more? Grail told me it was an object of great peril, but nothing more. I did some investigating on my own, though, because I'm a snoop. <laughs> and what I discovered surprised me. Tell me. You're my company now. <laughs> yeah. We'll give you the still image. <laughs> Lee and Lee Ron was one of the Heron clan, an ancestor of our Prince Ryson, who carried with him a bronze medallion. Long, long ago, a band of heroes defeated an evil god and imprisoned it therein. An evil god? You think this is funny? You are joking, aren't you? Unfortunately, I'm not. And I have no idea how the cursed thing came to be in Krail's possession. And then he gave it to his daughter. Yeah, because she can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I do know that the men who hunted your father were actually seeking the medallion. Why they wanted it and what they planned to do with it. Just thinking about it gives me chills. I'm finding this, all of this, a little hard to believe. You said the medallion was an object of great peril, didn't you? Then why would my father allow Miss to carry it around? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Once again, Elena could write this game. <laughs> it's because, well, to be fair, I'm always happy when you do say something and they oh, bring yeah. it up later because that means at least they were doing their job and like, like filling in the plot holes yeah, the best like, they could. Yeah, like when they were like, well, what about this? Some fucker's going to ask this and we should really address it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. And they don't just do the nanomites, nanomachines, <laughs> nanos. <laughs> It's because she carry, she can carry it safely. Actually, she's the only one who can. If you want proof, think back. Have you ever once touched it? It's mine. Oh, mine. No, My precious. I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> My precious. <laughs> A long time ago, I remember reaching out for it while Miss had it in her hands. Her father scolded me harshly with a dick bag. <laughs> After that, I assumed it was my sister's alone. I never reached for it again. Compared to other people, the balance within your sister is extremely strong. She's super balanced. She has, like, a really good center of gravity. A great stance. Doesn't fall around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be good on the tightrope. Your mother, it seems, was the same. That's why they could bear it. That's why they could bear it safely. <laughs> the medallion is like a strong prison. Or poison. It takes the worst aspects of a person and magnifies them thousandfold. Ooh. Grail touched it only once, and it drove him to complete madness. So that's what you meant when you said he went berserk? Hell yeah. The York and the Goos are made up of two forces, balance and chaos. Chakra. <laughs> <laughs> Yin and Yang. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, pretty much. In this, there is no difference between us. It is the proportion of balance to chaos that determines how much the medallion affects a person. 
in that sense. It protects how much harm that person can do. Fun. <laughs> Off of that. Oh, yeah, Onto shit. this beautiful, bloody scene. Yeah. Your father was one of the preeminent swordsmen of his generation. That day after you touched the medallion. Twenty soldiers had come for him. Twenty highly trained killers. Your father barely broke a sweat cutting them down. And then he danced on their fucking... <laughs> Started <of> teabagging <laughs> them. Corpses, yeah. Then he began attacking his neighbor. Those who had taken him in concealed his identity and called him a friend. He slew them one by one until your mother rushed in, thinking only to save her husband from himself. Shame about your mother. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's just kicking her in the crotch area. <laughs> <laughs> That's where her weak point was. <laughs> I, I mean, granted, it's still gonna hurt. Yeah, it but... still sucks in anybody. Yeah. It was over in an instant. Your mother grabbed the medallion from his hand and stepped away from him. They say she smiled as he pulled her sword out from her breast and forgave her as... I'm sorry, this is funny. <laughs> as her life's blood split onto the street. My father! Tell my mother! No, that can't be. It's really impossible. It's really possible. <laughs> no, it isn't. Yeah, it's super possible. <laughs> Anything's possible, honestly. Magic. Nanos. <laughs> it was the medallion. Its power is too great for any man, even one of your father's caliber. Me? You? If either of us touched it, I'm certain that we both would have been consumed by madness. And don't you dare give it to Soren. M -m 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 madness. Soren would be like, it, like turns out Soren can handle it. Soren would be like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? Just throws it. <laughs> just tosses it's not gold. It. I can't sell it. It's shitty. He fucking just tosses it in a wishing well. Yeah. Fuck it. I wish I was taller. <laughs> no, Soren. Gone forever. <laughs> my wish probably won't come true. You're not supposed to They're take They're like, anything. it wasn't a coin. And he was like, damn it, now my wish isn't gonna come true. <laughs> When your father regained his senses, he tracked me down. It seems he had heard rumors of me sometime before. He said I wasn't apparently hard to find. <laughs> he said he had need of someone like me, close mouth, skilled, and most importantly, willing to do any sort of work. He heard about Metal Gear. <laughs> of course, after hearing what he wanted me to do, I turned him down. Grail was once a famed general. He was Sir Gawain, once of the Dan Four Riders, and I recognized him at once. There was no chance someone like me would ever be able to stop him. That's why you get a bow and an arrow when you've been and get gun. good. <laughs> <laughs> but you do the job anyway. Why did you change your mind? Grail had lost his wife, and his grief was overpowering. To keep anything like that from happening again, he crippled himself. He slashed the tendons in his sword hand so that he could not wield a sword again. It's kind of dumb. Whatever. <laughs> I took the only job because he'd become someone my skill could handle. And even then, he was still far stronger than most men. Get good. <laughs> Get strong. <laughs> Take steroids. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Make sure you have as many kids as you want before you take steroids, though. Does it fuck with that? I think so, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't I don't look into steroids because I don't take them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan on taking them. We're dating somebody that takes them. That is Grail's secret, as I know it. Now I now entrust to you the responsibility of saying that Medallion does not fall into the wrong hands. Ever. Your sister must keep it. But who after that? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> as my father lay dying, he told me to forget everything and live in peace. Why did he mean? He didn't want you to lose yourself and go hunting for revenge, I suppose. He was killed much, much sooner than he ever expected to be. No, I'm mean, too late now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I mean, not really. I'm going after Black Knight, but it's uh, gonna happen. Should have said that sooner, yeah. you know, like fucking 20 years ago. Yeah, I got swept in this nonsense. So my father's dying wish for, was for me to protect the medallion? If I can do that, everything will be alright? No. I believe so. At the very least, that must take precedent over everything else. I understand. Because everyone's gonna want it, because it's gonna be a power trip. Oh, one last thing. <laughs> we made it look like we we're getting close to scene. <laughs> Joke's on you. What yeah. is it? Do you want to hire me in the event that you go berserk someday? Th thanks. If we were to make a deal now, you won't have to worry about it anymore. As for payment, I can just take it out of the 50000 you just gave me. What do you say? Sure. <laughs> Please. That's a wise decision. And in any case, I no longer need to conceal my true identity. I'm now Snake. Huh? Yeah. 
Solid Snake. <laughs> Metal Gear. Oh yeah, he levels up. He, you can't level him up either. I think if I remember correctly. Oh, so he just gets a class change here. Yeah. Okay. I'm now not a uh, level thief. three thief. I'm a fucking assassin. Hooray! You can now use those. No, you can't. I think I can train him to use bows, but I don't think he actually. I don't think he can actually use bows. I don't think that's like a thing that assassins can do. I thought Wonku had a bow. No. But to be fair, at the same time, Awakening likes to change yeah. a lot more easily than this game does. It's like, oh, you want to wield this other thing? Oh, you want to be this entirely different thing that wasn't your class to begin with? But well, fuck it. Sure, why not? Yeah, like this game is like, you're fucking sticking with it. Deal with it, fucker. <laughs> Just have everyone be Dark Flyers. Yes. I actually street past a guy who did that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, no, his team was literally all Dark Flyers. And I was like, and like Why? he took like Naui and nah and put them into like Dark Flyers. I was like, they're fucking a dragon already. What the shit? <laughs> Keep them dragons. Just dragon on top of a Pegasus. Like, what? <laughs> I'm not really a thief. I'm an assassin. From now on, I'll take any job you got, no matter how dirty. Because I'm Mike Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> dirty jobs. <laughs> Okay, we'll figure out what the <laughs> hell this is going to be in next episode. Hooray! See why he's fucking all bummed out. Gee, so, I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> whoa. Oh, why? Father and mother. Bye! Bye!